Hello friends, welcome to story time. Today we're going to read this story again. Do you remember what this story is called? We've read it two times before. That's right, Featherless, Desplumado. In this story, what problem does our friend Tomasito face? Do you remember? And who is Desplumado? How does Tomasito solve his problem? If you have an idea, let me know. Now let's begin our story time. Do you know it's story time, story time, story time? Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? And the title of this story is, do you remember? Featherless, Desplumado by Juan Felipe Herrera and illustrations by Ernesto Cuervas Jr. And in the story, we have two vocabulary words. Our first word is chairlift. A chairlift is a machine that helps carry a wheelchair onto a bus or to a new level. Chairlift. And our second vocabulary word is wink. Can you say that word with me? Wink. Wink is when you blink one eye to say that you are telling a joke or that you are feeling happy. Wink. Now friends, since we've read this story two times before, I'm going to need your help to tell me some parts of this story. Okay, let's begin. Featherless, desplumado. A little pet, Tomasito, for you. Listen. Papi sings as he shuts our trailer door. He stands next to me and peers into the cage he is carrying. Do you see him, the little bird with the bell hanging from his neck? He says, pressing his bushy eyebrows against the crooked wire door. You mean the one with that gray pebble for a foot and tiny curled up leg? Is that him? I ask. He was born a little different, like you were, Poppy whispers and pours some water for the little bird. Not like me. He doesn't have spina bifida, and he's featherless, I say. Well, except for the fuzzy ring around his neck, Poppy says, filling an old thimble with golden seeds. You can call him Desplumado. But Poppy, I say. If he doesn't have feathers, he can't fly. Friends, what is happening in this picture? Do you remember what his friend's name is? That's right, Marlena. And how is Tomasito feeling here? Why does he feel that way? What does Marlena do to make him feel better? If you remember what's happening on this page, let me know. Let's continue. Tonight, Poppy comes home from work at the Pinedale Motel. He tiptoes to my bed and kisses me goodnight. I look up at a tiny star outside my window. I wish I could fly into the star's circle of light. I wish I could swing on one of its electric wings. Coo! 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 The featherless bird cries long cooing sounds from the far corner of my room. Coo! Coo! I plug my ears and don't listen. Coo! 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 Under the morning sun, Poppy waits for waits with me for my school bus. You've been grumpy all morning, he says. You didn't want to eat, didn't want to go to school. What is it, Tomasito? At school, nobody ever invites me to play. At recess, I sit alone and count soccer balls slamming into the net. Things take time, Tomasito. Paciencia, Paspi says. The chairlift screeches and jerks me into the bus. 
There's our vocabulary word, chairlift. A machine that helps the wheelchair get onto the bus. Patience? Friends, what is happening here? What is his friend Marlena telling him? What game are they playing here? If you remember what's happening here, let me know. At night in our trailer, I pull a feather from my pillow and place it at the pebble foot of the featherless bird. This is so your toes will warm up and maybe your own feathers will grow, I say as I stroke the Splumato's scrunchy leg. Windy clouds swirl around the moon like a soccer net of mist. Fresno Flyers, practice, let's go! Marlena yells from the soccer field. Kids race across the grass, swooping like kites above an emerald sea. No one notices how fast they spin my wheels. Will I ever catch up? Will they ever see me? After practice, Coach Gordolobo says, Junior Resortes, our fastest runner, has the flu. What should we do? What about Tomasito? Marlena winks at me. There's our vocabulary word, wink, when you blink one eye to show that you're saying a joke or that you're just feeling happy. Tomasito who? Coach asks. Me, I say, from Mendota. You? Coach wrinkles his forehead. You? Everyone echoes. I spin the ball fast on my head. Coach thinks hard and fast for a minute. Then, you're in, Tomasito. He pats me on the back. In the game, the ball is up. My head stretches out, out, like Desplomado's prickly head. Zaz, I didn't know my head could do that, but I missed the goal. Go cabeza shot, Tomasito, Marlena shouts. I didn't know I could play soccer. My hands are red and sore from zigzagging my wheelie across the hot field. Zoop, Marlena slams the ball to me. Zaz, I almost make a wobbly cabeza goal. Ajua, I shout out loud. The very next morning, dawn fills my room with a powdery light. Stars in the sky weave a shimmering zarape over our trailer. I want to pull that starry blanket over me and desplumado. I take a deep breath. So tuck all the stars in my cheeks and blow them over Desplumado. His wings burst open and his leg uncurls. My legs flow up and down. Desplumado's feathers sprout. We are flying! Fly! Fly! Friends, what happens next? After Tomasito wakes up from his dream, what does Tomasito try to do here? If you remember, let me know. Tomasito, what happened? Papi says, tying his rope. He helps me to my bed. I want Desplumado to fly, to feel the edges of the sky, I say. You mean you want to fly, hijo, Papi says. I know, Papi. When I play with my friends, something in me wants to go faster so I can be like them. Tomasito, you are already like them. You are a Fresno flyer. Cree, cree. Desplumado nods his little naked head and shakes his smooth wings.
What is happening here? What does Tomasito do that makes him feel so happy? Do you remember what happens at the end of this story? If you remember, let me know. I race home. Pop, pop, zazz. I bump the door open with my wheelie and push over to Desplumado's cage. Desplumado, I made a goal. The Fresno Flyers won. I open Desplumado's little wire gate and he jumps onto my hand. Ring, 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 ring. He shakes his bell out loud. You can be a flyer too, Desplumado. There's more than one way to fly. His ring, he rings his bell and I laugh, my heart beating fast, so fast it feels like it is soaring. The end. So friends, I still have some wonder questions about this story, Featherless Desplumado. And now that Tomasito knows he can play soccer, do you think he will keep playing? If you think yes, Tomasito will keep playing soccer, why do you think he will keep playing soccer? And if you think no, Tomasito won't play soccer anymore, why do you think he won't play soccer anymore? If you have an idea, let me know. And I also want to know, let me go back to this page where Tomasito is talking to Desplumado on his bed. And how does Desplumado help Tomasito? What does he learn from taking care of his pet? If you have an idea, let me know. And at the end of the story, after Des uh, Tomasito came home making his goal in the soccer game, I wonder what Tomasito means when he tells Desplumado there's more than one way to fly. What do you think Tomasito has learned? If you have an idea, let me know. I hope you enjoyed our last time listening to this story, Featherless Desplumado. Until next time, friends. Bye!